in Richfield Springs School District. We worked with a sixth grade math class programming Naomi to move on a mat through an XY coordinate plane. When they were not successful, their personalities came out. The students had to learn how the robot is programmed to move. The turns that the robot makes is based on radians, which was a, a new concept to them. Quickly take it beyond, isn't it neat? She can sing, she can dance, to you could make her sing, you could make her talk, you could make her dance. We were very surprised when we received our state test scores back. And on every single now question, we nailed every other school. <laughs> So we were really happy about that, and it was a good argument to have now come back. I love seeing technology being able to be used to engage students. The students truly learned the value and impact of teamwork. It now had a huge impact on our female math students, and the girls were more creative and problem solving, and it gave them the confidence they needed. I think we should get girls into um, programming because there aren't enough. There's nothing male or female about it. It's just a regular field that everyone can enjoy that's fun. Here in Hamilton School District, um, I was working on an independent study project with a high school junior who wanted to expand her programming skills. I met Max, a nine-year-old child with autism. We only got it two hours a week, one hour to program, one hour to play with Max. It made such a big impact on him. I figured if we had it more time, what it could make a bigger impact than it already did. Kids really don't need a ton of instruction in programming. A lot of it was Nikki just getting her feet wet and jumping in and making mistakes and that's how you learn. Computer programming isn't just about sitting behind a computer but it's creating activities and behaviors that can help others. 